guess what? It is hot today and chilly tomorrow. <laughs> or chilly all the time. It's that time of the year for it. And with me, it's Kristen Golly, nutritionist here. <laughs> I'm excited like that way. Because how are you doing? Thank you so much for having yeah. me. I'm excited to get started. Yeah, so we're going to make a nice, easy chili. Yes. What's really great, too, is that this kid's pretty much, um, we want to kind of like say vegetarian. Yeah. But the way we're making it today, it's not vegetarian because not we're using, fully. what are we using? We're using so the. So these ranch style beans are actually, oh, they yeah. are not vegetarian. But if you're a strict vegetarian, you can absolutely substitute a different type of beans, but I just love them for their flavor. So everything else is vegetarian, but just so you know, those ranch style beans yeah. aren't. And, and this is a great dish as we were talking because uh, going plant-based was a lot of people are doing, but you don't have to give up your taste. You don't have to give up the whole thing. Exactly. And really, I mean, chili is, pretty much beans anyways, right? right? With a little bit of meat in there, but now we're gonna substitute in a different way. Exactly, we're skipping the meat in this one. This one's gonna be all beans, just because they have so much health benefits for us that we can reap. So let's get started. Okay, what are we gonna do first? I'm gonna have you put that oil in there. The oil? Yeah, okay. pour the oil into the pan. All right. The pan's already preheated. I love that, and that's important too, preheat the pan, right? Yep, so it's nice and warm. Okay. Then I want you to add the onion. The onion? So this is one yellow onion that's been diced. Go ahead the and- The whole thing? Yep. Oh, okay. Whole thing, lots of onion, adds All lots right. of flavor. All right. And then I want you to add the red bell pepper. So right. red bell pepper actually has a lot of vitamin C. We want that here because beans have high amounts of iron. Because they're plant-based iron, it's a little bit harder for our bodies to absorb. So okay. we add vitamin C, helps the absorption. So and it also puts a little color there. Puts That's a little color, a little texture. Okay. Always good. So we got that. Now okay. I'm gonna add all the beans. So we got, we got lots of beans here. We do here. have lots of beans here. So we've got some kidney beans. You're gonna go yep. ahead and add, yep, any order. All right, and how much? The whole can. The whole can? The liquid right. is two, we're not draining, we're not rinsing. All right. So that's pinto beans. We so. got kidney beans. Uh-huh, there's a lot of beans here. A lot of beans. Black beans. All right. And you then, know what they say about beans, 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 make good soup, make little boys go. <laughs> okay, now what are we doing? Do your ranch style beans first. Are these right here? Okay. Yep. Perfect. All right. So go ahead and give that a stir. All right, so I need to stir it. Stir it again. All right. Lots of beans There's here. There's a lot of beans in but here, but this beans is... are great because they have a lot of plant-based protein. So since we're skipping the meat, we're gonna um, get our protein from the beans. So let me ask you this, yeah. as, as we're doing this, we have the different beans in here. Do different beans have different uh, things properties. they do, properties and stuff? Yeah, for example, a really good example is those black beans in there are actually pretty high in antioxidants. A good clue to think about that is anytime something is rich in color, it's usually a good source of antioxidants. Okay. Um, and then go ahead and add these diced tomatoes tomatoes here. These diced tomatoes, all right. Perfect. There we go, all right. And then go ahead and add some cumin and chili powder. These are your spices here. So these, which one are you using? Chili powder. Chili powder. How much should I put in there? I eyeball about a tablespoon. Oh, did okay. you? Oh, that's great. Sorry. That's great, that's great. Right. Was that good? Yeah, and then some again, for the cumin, yeah. The cumin, not Same human, idea. cumin. Perfect. And that's it. Um, oh, add this cup of oh, water, water for me. Okay. And that's so, our chili. So this, ideally, I like to simmer this for at least two hours. Just have this on the stove simmering. How long? Two hours? Two hours. hours. And that oh way goodness. the flavors really get to meld together. Um, and then the best part about chili is the toppings, in okay. my opinion. So All I've right. got a bunch of different toppings over here. Right, that's simmering. Okay. All right, let's top And I this. want you to top your own. So what do you like to top your chili with? Oh, well, typically. Uh, cheese. Okay. So I can get in there. Cheese. All right, and now should I use a certain amount of cheese or? It's up to you, however you I, top I your, nice I cheesy. like, when I serve chili, I like serving a little toppings bar yeah. and then everybody can just pick and choose. Okay. Especially for kiddos, they like to get involved. They have a little bit of autonomy there and they get to choose what goes on their chili. They'll be more likely to eat it. So yeah. if you have picky Sour eaters. Sour cream. Sour cream. Go on there. And boom. Perfect. Okay. I love some corn chips. Yeah. Avocado. So, oh my goodness. I I'm going to do corn chips avocado. All right, you get that going. I and love this. is a great easy recipe to do. And easy very recipe. And, and healthy chili, definitely to get us out the door this time of year, which is really nice. Exactly. So, okay. And then you want to make sure you're eating right when you when you eat with it. So, what yeah. do we have over here? So, I've got some green chili cornbread. I actually made a no sugar green chili cornbread. Super good. It's got some cheese in there, some jalapenos. But I actually grew up eating chili with tortillas. There you go. That's like very southwest. So I, my dad is known for putting chili, soup, stew, anything like that into a tortilla to make it a burrito. Yeah. 
and that's my go-to. I love this. This is so easy to do and so fun. Uh, and of course, the whole family get involved, which you yeah. like them to do. Absolutely. So, okay, let's talk where they can find out more information about some great healthy dishes that you have going on. Sure. So they can check out my website, CamelbackNutritionWellness.com, and you can follow me on Instagram at Kristen.Carly. There you go. And again, great place to go check out because if you want to eat healthy, you talk to someone yep. who helps you. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, we got our grub on. Mm. <laughs>